Uh, hello, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get unlimited lead, um, gunpowder, and uh, steel. Um, well, the first thing you want to do is go to Lucky Hole Mine and just loot all of these lead ore veins from everywhere and then just smelt it at a chemist workbench. But after you do that, normally it takes something like two days for it to um, respawn at, at Lucky Hole. And, and I'll show you how to speed that up. So the first thing you want to do is go to um, Summersville, or well, my survival tent's already there, so I'll just fast travel there. Huh? Oh, <laughs> took all the loading. Anyway, there'll be this house um, with my own works, all they're dead now. But yeah, the, there'll be a lot of. It's normally more, but there's a, there's a lot of uh, burnt books here, and, and you have to pick up like something like 300 loose items or 270, something like that, and then the lead orb will respawn a lucky hole. And this cloth, and it, and it scraps for cloth, these textbooks, so you can just, um, uh, it's called again, uh, smelt them for gunpowder. And some of these balls down here will also count as a loose item. So pick up these as well. All that. All these wrenches down in the basement. Because there's a lot of loose items in this house. This is why it's the best house. The one in Summersville with Milo's everywhere. If you pick up something from a container, it counts as one pickup. Okay, that's done. And you will get over encumbered doing this, so if you don't have fallout first, just the train station is pretty close, so just walk over there. And there's heaps of books up on the staircase. Pick up all of those. There's a little bit of, yeah, a few books out here. Pick up all of these books. And just became over encumbered then. A few beer bottles, that counts as well. And upstairs, now basically upstairs you've got... Um, you know, they've probably already been taken or something. Oh yeah, there's normally more of these books, sometimes they don't, not all of them spawn, but there's a fair few in this house. Yeah, grab all of these. I'll just check how much I have now. So yeah, I don't think it's enough yet. What is it? Up here. 70, 80. Not quite enough, but I'll, I'll show you what to do when you finish this, because you can't, you have to do like, I just scrapped this first, so I'm not overweight. As you can see, heaps of just cloth, just like that. And basically, if you want the the books to respawn in this house, just quit to the main menu. And then go back in and that will put you on a different server. And if you want hundred percent make sure you don't go on the same server, just um, go into the atomic shop and um, just back out. And it's 
should respawn some of the books. Alright, we're back in. And yeah, these books They're funny because they they respawn when you switch servers. Like they're server bound books, they're not like game bound, so you don't have to wait for them to respawn. That blast radius again. Some more books here. And this is by far the quickest strategy to get uh, lead, if you have enough acid, that is. And basically, acid is off Snally Gasters, um, what else? Yalguais, Cave Crickets, and all of those sort of things you get acid from. Uh, you can also get it from workshops as well. And as you can see, it respawns here sometimes. Yeah, it's all respawned here. This is a crazy cloth strat, crazy gunpowder strategy. You can just turn all this cloth into gunpowder. Yeah, alright, that's all of the books. Probably hasn't respawned, but I'll quickly check if this. No, the balls don't respawn with the server hop. I can't fast travel, so I have to. Where's this fellow? I can hear him. Who's scuttling around? I can't hear. Oh, there he is. Yeah, and you have to do one more server hop for this to work. So that was about 200 items, you need 270 otherwise. The lead ore is not going to be spawned. They're inside the house now. Whoops! I shouldn't use the legacy in here because they're gonna go. The books will go flying. Were the books? No, I don't think there were any books here at this top section. So we grab whatever we spawned in here. So. 
a lot. That should be enough, I think. I'll quickly check if anything's respawned in here. I think this house is actually always empty, except for a few beer bottles and that. Okay. I will try Lucky Hole now. Yeah, fast travel timer. Okay, now that I'm here, I have to do one last server hop. Because otherwise, it just won't uh, respawn, because you have to change servers to respawn there. Later on. Servers have changed. Oh, and as you can see, the lead whore ore has all respawned. So that is about 270 items. Just grab them all. Shut those people up at Summersville all those books and then just um just serve hop do it again and serve hop do it again then all of this is respawn and this normally takes like like two days for all this lead ore to respawn on um on any normal occasion oh and, and also um if you want to get steel just keep killing the mutants at west tent go out wait one minute and go in kill them then loot it all and within an hour you get a lot of steel also, load barring, which is, you know, an ash heap event. When that pops up, just go to it, kill the mole miners, loot it, you'll get almost a thousand steel. Same with uranium fever, you'll get a lot of steel from that, and eviction notice. You'll get a lot of steel from all those miniguns that they drop. And basically just grab all of this. I'll just quickly show you the boot. I'll, I'll speed things up, just... I won't grab it myself, but they're all of it here. It's right all there. Basically down here. Keep going down. There's uh, all there. Goes through here. There is right um yeah through here. There's a little bit of lead. It's crystal. Shiny stuff's crystal, but there is lead here. Uh, yeah, that's crystal. There's some lead here. 
And I'll show it in just in case people are um, missed. The secret entrance is covered by. Where's the secret? Uh, yeah, it's covered by just a bush, and you just. I'll just quickly show you. Yeah, there's there's more lead bits down here. Lead there, lead there. And there's more lead all along here. Here. You can miss that one easy, but just grab all of this. And at the end, um, you, you probably get overcumbered if you smelt all of this. But if you have a scrap kit, you can just smelt all the lead there. And, uh, I, I actually did a lead one just before. I'll just show you how much lead you get. Super duper is the most important thing when doing this. I have a scrap kit, so I don't care if I become too heavy. So I don't forget, I have to put bloody mats back on. And, from doing this thing, which took like a little over 10 minutes, with the server hops, you can get oh, a little bit less than that, because I, I did a little bit more. But around 1,100 without the extra lead ore that was already in my inventory. Yeah, so that's a lot. Over 1,000 lead. Like, Per 15 minutes, so what's that? You, you probably wouldn't go, want to go that crazy, but you'll easily... You'll get like how much? 4,000 lead in like an hour easy. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. And I hope it helped you if you're low level and you're struggling to feed the Gauss minigun, because that thing is... I need to get ammo for it. Yeah, this thing's crazy uh, on ammo, but... It's pretty powerful, right? Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm still not low enough health, but yeah, it does 215 TS1 two-shot one. So yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, bye.